Hello everyone, welcome to He Makes Me Play. I'm Marius, I'm blind, I can't see, and I make other people play video games. And I'm here today with Vincent. Hey Vincent. Hi Marius. Yeah, I am making you play, uh -huh. we have no prep for this, I'm making you play Catacombs of Solaris. Yes. A uh, neat little game by Ian McLatty, about which I know virtually nothing, but I heard about it and it intrigued me, and now you have to play it. And we just opened it, so what's happening Vincent? I am so sorry to anybody who has to see this. <laughs> Uh, so we are inside a maze that's... Uh, ah, a labyrinth. A labyrinth, yes. Yeah. Um, and the walls are... Oh, got it. Okay. <laughs> so looking above and below us works as well. That's weird. Um, it's a first-person game. It's a first-person game, yes. Uh, WASD works. Uh, we can look around with the mouse. And the walls are made out of bright, colorful pixels. <laughs> and like okay all the imaginary colors all the like very a, like rainbow walls not exactly i mean yes basically but, but not like neat is it like random uh it's you random and color it's, salad it's yes color salad okay. is the perfect word for it it's yeah. um very bright mostly and very yellow surprisingly okay um so um you say it's a maze how do you know do the walls lead anywhere uh, I think I've lost the walls, Marius. Um, <laughs> Always so, a bad sign. Yes. Um, so it's not exactly... It. So when we start <laughs> the game, right, we are looking uh, into a corridor, right? Yeah. And then I turn to the left, yeah. and there was nothing there except like open, <laughs> what looked like open space, and then in the distance, more of these walls. Oh, okay. And then I looked below us, and there was nothing as well. There's Just, no ground that you're standing on? Um, no, not that I can see. I mean, so um, you're floating in air. Yeah, basically. Or maybe it's just that um, the, the ground is invisible. Yeah, because the thing is, these pixels are warping around us. So oh, they're it, moving. It, it mm, no, they are. Um, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for this, Mario. <laughs> this is a great game for this concept, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, was fantastic. Yeah, yes. we haven't moved yet. <laughs> well, what happens when you move? Um, well, that's when everything is. Uh, oh, oh god, this is so... It's a little bit nauseating. <laughs> Explain to me, Vincent, what is happening. Um, so the... the um, I'm not getting a clear picture here. Yeah, see, the thing is, I I don't know exactly what's happening either, because there are some, uh, some structures to these random more or less pixels, mm, right? Okay. Some lines, some are just... Um, they are at times bigger, sometimes smaller. Mm -hmm. um, is there any pattern to their change? That's hard to say. Um, okay, none that you notice so far. I mean, there there are patterns in there certainly. Um, like slightly above us to the left is um, basically an eye formed out of these. Oh, uh, that's picture. creepy. Um, yeah, the very stylized eye. Okay. Um, and yeah, I mean, the corridor at the beginning was basically a pattern. Okay. Okay. Um, Maybe we should just walk into the corridor. Is this possible? Yeah, but this. this See, I've okay now. I'm in the corridor, but it doesn't look like corridor anymore. Marius, what's happening? You just roll with the punches. You're what's where are you now? Okay, so now I'm in. <laughs> what now we're standing on nothing again? What? Okay. <laughs> okay, so I get the distinct feeling that the pixels um change their look depending on. How Which way we move? Yeah. Can you? What happens if you just like dance around and just hit A and D in like repetitive succession? Yeah. So okay. Back um, and forth. I just was like you're dancing. Yeah, I was wandering forwards into a corridor, right? And yeah. um, the moment I start dancing, <laughs> um, I but it did it again. What the hell? What, did what? Um, so the the corridor was straight ahead, right? Yeah. And I started dancing, and the corridor shifted or well, was basically immediately um, shifted to the left. Yeah. And then I started talking about it and I tried it again and the corridor shifted to the middle of the two paths that were there before, basically. Is this game using the microphone, Vincent? I don't <laughs> Does think it so. do stuff if we talk? No, I don't think so. Either. I, I wonder if it's just time-based, maybe? What happens if you just wait and do nothing? Um, nothing changes. Everything stops changing? Yeah. Okay. At least you know how to it, get some peace and quiet. Yes. Um, also, it's not. <laughs> it's not like the um, the pixels are moving by themselves. Mm -hmm. It's more that um, the uh, 
the only sense of depth you get mm -hmm. is by how the pixels move in regards to you. Yeah. And that is changing. Oh, wow. And that is very weird. <laughs> like right now, um, <laughs> we see like um, in front of us are um, lines basically, and they um, and they go uh, a little bit into the distance. And if I'm looking at this, it appears that we are basically at a corner, mm -hmm. right? And we are looking like slightly to the right of our um, field of view is um, a corner piece and right of that is a corridor and uh, ahead and to the left is a corridor. Okay. Um, that's what the lines tell me, basically, or that was what yeah, okay. are the lines telling to my uh, brain. And when you move, that, that gets harder to see? Yeah, see, now the fucking corner turned into a corridor. Oh, okay. Because well, it uh, moved. Maybe this place has like a, um, a non-Euclidean geometry and like you're seeing it correctly it's just you know space behaves weirdly yeah i mean uh can you jump what happens when you hit space bar nothing okay okay i'm just gonna run around a bit yeah um, because okay now we're in a part of the maze where maybe it's just the entrance to the maze is kind of weird yeah maybe it gets better at the moment we are more in a corridor area okay um by which i mean that the pixels are more actually random and very small compared to <laughs> being drawn out in lines but okay mm. now i'm just running in circles how do you know um because uh, you can tell that there are distinct features that you can recognize ah oh, fuck i lost the card out again. <laughs> 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 so everything was going so great yeah um, you think, are doing great Winston. i think the problem is just that i stopped moving mm. maybe that is the problem what happens if you just never stop so yeah if if i just Continue moving. Yeah. Um, the pixels uh, form corridors, basically. It makes Very sense if you keep moving. Uh, corridors, yeah. Yeah, so that's rule number one, I guess, for the catacombs. Don't stop moving. Mm -hmm. And if I stop moving, and then, yeah, and there we, yeah. And now it makes it just no everything sense again. dissolves yeah, okay, 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 okay. and goes and then, into... Yeah, wording. okay. So every time I stop moving and then start moving again, um, the whole world turns strange do you get teleported to your to the start again no okay um but maybe it's hard to tell i mean maybe it's it is the beginning because it always or well, the last two times worked the same way i could move a little yeah to the front and then to the right uh -huh. um and then everything turned into very distinct corridors again uh-huh well how about you just keep moving for a while uh, yeah, I'm just moving in a straight line at the moment. Okay. Um, and the patterns on the walls change a little bit from like very distinct small pixels to larger corridor uh, pixels and to okay. lines and back. But I'm just running further into the same direction. I wonder if there are like models. other areas, any distinct features. Uh, that's a good question. But maybe not. I mean, all I can tell you is that these uh, patterns change slightly. In characteristic ways, um, like you mentioned, an eye. That's a distinct thing. I yeah, know what that is. Not really. Anything else like that? No, no clear like forms. Triangles, just, uh, dogs, no trees. No, it's just um, faces. Stuff like um, smaller pixels and larger pixels, mm, um, rectangular pixels. Geometry. Uh, exactly. Then yeah, okay. we had like one wall where it was just lines. Um, of the same color pixel yeah. and I'm still just running around honestly um, seems pretty fine at the moment but I don't feel like I'm getting anywhere yeah I know how you feel um, what, and you can look around with the mouse and stuff exactly yeah what happens if you spin real fast if I am I supposed to be, I don't want to stop moving do I okay just... you can do it while you're moving um doesn't change anything okay does nothing mm, yeah okay any other buttons do anything that's a good question i don't Keys. think so nope doesn't appear so okay did you stop moving no okay mm. very good uh but i do wonder if i should at some point because i yeah i feel like we're not getting anywhere so Winston, i have a question yes where's the end boss and how do we kill him um, well, I think first we need to level up. 
This is uh, a game, right? Yeah, we need to Where's find the game? some no, I'm loot. Just, I'm just kidding. And uh, maybe a dialogue or two. I feel like the end boss is like figuring out what the fuck this is. <laughs> yeah, okay. Like um I, I feel like we're not getting anywhere by just moving. What happens if you move backwards? Um Huh. Okay. The board changes again, but I did stop. And now I'm running into walls. But okay, yeah, it's I think basically the same. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. So instead of moving forwards and to the right, I moved backwards and then I had to go to the left and then it was basic uh corridors again. Yeah, okay. It's all just corridors all the way. Yeah. It's like House of Leaves. Mm, I'm trying so I, I was uh standing still again and I'm just looking around, um trying to figure out what the hell is going on when we stand still. Yeah. If there's yeah. any pattern to it. Stand, standing, this, this game has two states, right? You're either moving or standing still. And those are like two different rooms, basically. Basically, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's explore the standing still. What happens if you spin around while you're standing still? Uh, no change, I think. Okay. So, um, yeah, it's a little bit like standing still. It's a little bit like looking into a kaleidoscope. Mm -hmm. If you know what that means, it's just, um, yeah, it's it's like you cut a um, a triangle out of a um, out of a corridor, and mm -hmm. then it like twists and changes. Yeah, and you you mirror it on the side of that uh -huh. triangle, yeah. and then again and again and again, and um, because it's all basically pixels, it's just <laughs> this is just um, a trippy fucking game. Yeah. Um, but I, there must be some something more to this, some hidden meaning. I feel like I can make it worse, but I don't know if I want to. <laughs> how how can you make it worse? So if uh, I've created a face, sort of. Oh, cool! You can sort of control the pattern. Not consciously, but I mean, um, <laughs> with your mind, Vincent. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess I can com uh, control it by slightly moving and then stopping and. All okay. that, but I don't know exactly what happens so it's if like I stop. Moving right? and not s moving so much. Can you try? Yeah. You said you can make it worse. Can you make it as bad as possible? <laughs> Whatever I, I, I it is. I think I got pretty close just now. Yeah. <laughs> um, because I just. Um, if you stand still and then look to the side, yeah. you have this kaleidoscope effect. Ah. Um, but you also have still um, the way that you used to move. It's still basically a corridor, even though the walls are a little bit weird. Um, and and the or well, behind you is also still a corridor. But if you then then um, look into the kaleidoscope and move a little more, everything turns into fucking kaleidoscope. Oh, and okay. And then you can just repeat that, and it gets worse and worse and worse. Oh, it's of. like you can charge yourself up by looking in the kaleidoscope. Yeah. But oh, uh, I see. I just don't know if we want that. Oh, we do want that. <laughs> Please charge yourself up to as much as you can. Yeah, I, I think we're getting pretty close to. Yeah, this is this is now just a mess. <laughs> it's just a complete mess. Oh, God. You don't find this pleasant to look at. No, no. <laughs> it's just. I mean, because the kaleidoscope has the pixels very far away, and uh -huh. basically as small pixels as possible, yeah. as the uh, monitor allows. Uh, so this is just a yellow mesh of pixels. Are there other things that you can like look at and then stuff happens? There are no other things, though. What about the eye you mentioned? Um, yeah, that's a good question, but you, I you don't lost know it? where it is. Yes. Oh. Okay. Mm. Or like other patterns. Mm, okay, so when we stop. Yeah. Um, there's always something exactly above and below us. Um, what is something? A it's pattern? It's a, a hexagon. Oh, okay. Um, with different lines from one side to the other. Uh -huh. um, it's a little bit like a road, basically. Hmm. Just with a, a pretty sharp corner. Uh, hmm. And I wonder what happens if we just... Oh, okay. Um, so I just moved a little to the side while looking at it. Uh -huh. And now I've created sort of like a, let, uh, a ladder of it. Okay. Where it's just that symbol 
uh, and then that is mirrored to the side of it and that is then uh mirrored infinitely into the um mm. uh, the yeah, horizon into the horizon above that sounds awesome below us can you climb the ladder i don't think so mm -hmm. no i can't interact okay. with it oh god no, okay okay wait wait i'm following the road weirdly enough hmm. um so i moved into it basically yeah this is very dreamlike do you know oh, that yeah. thing when you're in a dream and you, there's an image and you're you can like move into that image mm -hmm. it's very trippy the weird thing is now we have the same situation where um, i could turn right at the end of it and go back into one of the corridors but i don't want that i don't want that no want follow the road follow the road but the road ends in a in a um into a wall uh, a dead end yeah okay Okay, now I'm going backwards, and uh, now everything is a fucking road. Oh, okay. Uh, Lots of roads to follow, then. No, it's just one road, but imagine if, like, a road warped around <laughs> everything around you. I feel like this game isn't following standard game design practices. Really? I feel like they could use a tutorial to tell people, you know, how, the, how it works and what you're supposed to do. But... Marius, the controls are so easy. <laughs> Everybody should get it. Well, I I guess you know how to walk, yeah. Yeah, and there's not much else to do. I've left the road, by the way. There yeah, was okay. nothing else there. Maybe the road is not the way to go. You said there's a hexagon above. What is below? Uh, also a hexagon. Ah, can we do the same thing for the below hexagon? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Every time you say that, I feel like it's progress. Yeah, I just, you, I mean, looking at this and just moving, because at some point your brain just <laughs> doesn't remember where you are and what W, for example, or pressing W does. So I just had a very nauseous moment. <laughs> Vincent, maybe I should buy you some VR goggles. No, fuck So off. we can retry this. <laughs> <laughs> and also a bucket for barfing into. yeah that, that would be a wise choice <laughs> no, uh, don't you agree this game would be awesome with vr goggles yeah i don't know i like, mean there's only so experience. much so much torture the human body can withstand yeah but hmm. yeah i wish it was at least pleasant to look at i mean as, as long as you're moving it's pleasant to look at yeah, i mean okay. pleasant is maybe maybe a stretch <laughs> it's okay i would say mm. it's like a weird art house installation uh, maybe it is. Maybe that that is what Catacombs of Solaris is. Yeah. I don't know. But I feel like there must be some kind of secret. Mm, yeah. I'm still... I, I mean, it's... It's it's called a catacomb. It's not a labyrinth, right? Mm. So, well, maze and labyrinth, they have definitions. Yeah. But let's not get into that. Um, they did say catacombs, which is sort of similar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, but I'm I'm just wondering. Okay, is there some pattern to this? Like, as, as long as we are moving, we get more or less the um, these very distinct, clear pathways that we can follow. Yeah. And I'm wondering, is there a pattern that we can discern? Yeah. I mean, can you get out of the catacombs or get to any interesting place? I'm starting to believe that you can't. Um, yeah, me too. And that, that's okay. But like, I mean. Um, the title is an obvious reference to the Tarkovsky movie Solaris, which was re later remade uh, with um, George Clooney mm -hmm. in an American version. Did you ever see that? Uh, no, I don't think so. Ah, okay. It's kind of a cool sci-fi movie. I like it. I think there's a book as well. Uh -huh. And they, they basically do space travel to some kind of phenomenon. It's not quite clear. or I don't remember uh, some place, planet, whatever, uh, called Solaris. And the whole thing about Solaris spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen it is that it fulfills the wishes of people who are there uh, but that's kind of a problem because lots of people have fucked up wishes it's like not like you can't say what you want to get it like knows what you want and will give it to you and sometimes that's not like what you may want like one of the people in the, in the Solaris movie is a pedophile and the thing just keeps creating these children and dwarves running around and stuff it's weird right mm -hmm. and a bit uncomfortable uh, which I guess describes this game perfectly. <laughs> Weird and a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, That's how you've been, uh, how I've perceived your reaction to this. 
Yeah. Um, but so like, okay, they named it Solaris. I, I presume for that reason, like there is this anom anomaly that fulfills wishes and it's this place and this maybe is what happens when you just go into that anomaly. Huh. This big place. Okay, well, but what if my wish is to leave? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I figured out how to turn the world green. Oh, yeah? How do you do that? Explain. I was just talking so much. Oh, Sorry. I mean, nothing special. It's just <laughs> manipulation of the pixels by moving backwards and forwards. And um, eventually, yeah. one of them just fills the whole screen. And then you can move backwards and everything is green. Well, that's so cool. Like, th there must be more like little tricks like that, right? Yeah. I think it's just an interesting way to design the interaction with the game. Mm -hmm. This is weird. Because this, this is certainly a control scheme that um, is not common. But, I mean, I, I bet it feels... Does it feel intuitive? Uh, like, if you did this a bunch, would you gain control over it and be able to turn the screen into different colors at will? Y yeah. That's kind of cool. Um, I just... I mean, control is a big word for doing weird color things right like i, I still don't well, feel like i have um control over where i move exactly because i just follow a pattern of corridors i don't understand yeah and yes i can make these corridors <laughs> purple if i want to but does that help me that's debatable yeah it is um mm, yeah well it's more like a toy than a game it feels like it yeah like, like an lsd toy i don't know i feel like googling this game <laughs> and like so we, this is the last uh -huh. time we'll ever play this so let's just see if there's a list of tricks yeah while you play with this describe what you're doing i'm just googling Oh, I'm mm. just following random corridors and uh, figuring out if one of them leads me somewhere I haven't been before. I mean, I know there's a trick in Labyrinth um, or Mazes, whatever. I uh, just find Dark Souls stuff. That's not old one. What? Sorry. What? Is that? Um, that you can always just follow one of the walls, but I feel like that's pointless here because... Is it just always the same pattern? No. Oh yeah, now we, okay. So that doesn't work because the corridors loop and they loop into each other. Mm, I don't think there is like spoilers or well, I just can't be bothered to search more. Hmm. It just keeps bringing up the game and the revisited version of Steam, which you can buy for 10 bucks. Yeah. Uh, maybe it has more features. Possibly. Maybe it said I... in the description there, it said the go the point of Catacombs of Solaris is to find your favorite room in the catacombs, which is a very nice, wholesome kind of message. Mm -hmm. um, I like that. But so far, it doesn't really have rooms. <laughs> right, it so sort of does, though. Yeah, in the conceptual way, right? The Standing still is a room. A room is corridor walking. Uh... And a room is morphing the road. Yeah, and... I mean, room, maybe not so much in the room as like four walls and a top and a bottom and all that. Yeah. But um, just creating interesting um, patterns on the wall Yeah. already feels like you created a room. Yeah. Weirdly enough. I can see that. And because there's a lot of um, situations where because the pixels turn... Uh, go into the distance it seems like it's an infinite room right uh-huh um <laughs> that's wild yeah it sounds pretty wild oh god have i done that uh, sure. well Look. so um since that is the point of the game mm -hmm. um what is your favorite room have you found it vincent i think any room without bright colors mm. um you just like, want to crawl into a dark place yeah, I, I mean, I, I tried the green room before, right? And that was just, that, that hurt on uh, the eyes. Yeah, okay. Um, that makes sense to me. But there are like, every now and then, like, <clears throat> um, following these corridors, it's always, um, 
what do you call it? A rectangle with uh, the same side? A square. A square, yeah, exactly. And it's always um, squares on the wall. So one mm. square and then the next That's square. That's like the square room. Uh, square room? What do you mean? Well, it's about rooms in the catacombs, right? And that's the square room. Uh, basically, yeah. But, but it's while you're following the catacombs, is what you were saying, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, and like every square is slightly different from the one before that. Not always. Mm. Sometimes it's like two or three squares uh, following the same pattern. Mm -hmm. um, like here we have three squares that all have uh, lines from one end to the other. Um, I really wonder if this was super fun to make or super painful to make. I can't decide. Hmm. I wish I knew. Yeah. I, w I wonder how much time went into this. Yeah, because you do have to, these like subtle transformations, you do have to put all that stuff in the game mm -hmm. and how they react to your input and stuff and all these uh, very specific ways. Um, it's like... You probably have to be sort of clever programmatically to do that because a lot of it, like the squares that you described that subtly differ, mm -hmm. like the the creator probably didn't draw each one of those. They, they must be created algorithmically, right? Yeah. And I can also imagine that um, maybe there's this, within these very similar patterns, there are some that are so unpleasant to look at um, <laughs> that people just stop playing. Hmm. Um, so I, I, I can imagine that this might not look like there's a lot of QA going on here, but <laughs> well, I wouldn't I be you surprised yeah. if there was. There were versions of the catacombs that were so horrific, yeah. they have been banished to the hell realms, <laughs> exactly. never to be seen again. Yeah. yeah, yeah. it seems like the game where you have a lot of like variables and sliders that you could like twist to give the player a completely different experience, mm -hmm. um, like changing color use and stuff. Yeah. yeah, it's nice. It's, sort of, sort, of. it's sort of the perfect game for me. <laughs> <laughs> no sound, no dialogue, no plot. Yeah. Just visual excitement, basically. Yeah, That's basically what this game is. And sounds of nausea. <laughs> yeah, sounds of <laughs> sort of discomfort and disgruntlement from a player who I'm making yeah. play this. Um, yeah, but I don't know. It was fun. Mm -hmm. I, I, your favorite room is a dark room in the catacombs of Solaris. Yeah. I yeah. mean, there are, uh, there are fun rooms with interesting patterns. It's just if they have bright colors, that's so yeah, it's a bit at. too much. Yeah. yeah. Um, thanks for playing, Vincent. Uh, I, <laughs> I would say thanks for showing me this, but I'm not sure. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> I, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, thanks, Ian McLarty, for making this uh, weird LSD toy. Yeah. Thanks. Um, yeah, maybe we'll try it again when we're high. I don't know. <laughs> Oh God, no. uh, thank you, dear viewer, for viewing this, whatever this was. Uh, you can leave some comments if you want to tell us. Yes, please tell us <laughs> some cool moves. And if you come up with really cool stuff, we could do it. We might play this again, actually. I'll make Vincent do this again. Not um, again. Yeah, just to try stuff out. Uh, subscribe to the channel. You can follow us on Twitter, at makes underscore play. Bye. Bye-bye.